The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with the pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> For me, the point I see running through all these readings, be it the gospel or the first reading or the second one, is that of a good shepherd and the sheep of his flock. In the first reading, we hear of Prophet Jeremiah, who projects God as a shepherd who would gather the scattered sheep and also look after them with concern and with compassion. The leaders at that time of Jeremiah were incapable and corrupt. And Jeremiah compares them in this first reading to shepherds who led their flocks to destructions. But at the same time, he assured the people that God will not abandon them he will take care of them as a sheep and lead, and lead them back to their own land. That he will raise a shoot from the house of David, a wise king whom he says in the text will be just and upright. This promised son of David, he says, is Jesus of Nazareth himself. The promise finds itself and its fulfillment in the life and the mission of Jesus Christ. Jesus, as a good shepherd, feeds his people. He leads them and he leads the sheep through and by his own teaching. As we heard in the gospel, for the apostles who had returned from their mission, as a good shepherd, he gave them rest. And to the vast crowd who tried to follow him at all costs, the text concludes by saying, was moved with the pity. He abandoned his own plans and began teaching them. Likewise, in the second reading, which has not been read to us because of the inclusion mass, Paul talks about the peace that we have in Jesus Christ as a good shepherd. That Jesus broke down all barriers that has kept us apart and has united us in him by the blood of his cross. And he reconciled us with our God and with each other. And that is what he has done as that good shepherd. And as Christians today, we are all called to witness to this unity and this peace among God's people. We must show the world that the very love of Jesus Christ himself can break all the walls that separate us, separate us all the walls of division that may bring conflict in our families, in our society, in with each other, even in our being as Christians. We have to embrace the law of love that makes us 
and to help us to see in every woman as a sister and every man as a brother to love and to serve just as Jesus has done, just as the apostles had done. And Jesus the Good Shepherd today and through all this reading is inviting us to act first as shepherds, to share the good news with others, to unite them, and above all, to reconcile with our God and with each other. And that is the responsibility that we also take as followers of Jesus the Good Shepherd. And to be good shepherds, we must share this very attitude of Jesus Christ himself, the Good Shepherd, the one committing our, by committing ourselves unselfishly towards these people who are in need, towards these people who need our love and our service. We must show that compassionate heart, like of Jesus, working for peace and unity, breaking down barriers that divide us and reconciling us and everybody under this cover of Jesus Christ himself, the Good Shepherd. May we therefore continue to pray and to continue to open our hearts to the word of God himself and to make it our own food, food that will nourish us and food that will bring us this eternal life. At the same time, continue to look to Jesus as a good shepherd and we, the sheep of his flock. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.